Welcome back to the T Brad Fab YouTube channel. Uh, she's a cold one out here today, so you're probably gonna hear the heater kick on and off. But today, this video, we're gonna finish up the exhaust on the LS Ranger. I got myself a few mandrel bends, a couple 180s, and a J-bend. Hopefully this is enough to finish up over the axle and out the rear of the truck. I'm going to try, I think. Saw it on a bunch of stuff, mostly turbo stuff out the roof of, or out the hood of vehicles, where they do a teardrop style tip. I may try that on this truck just to see what it looks like. If it doesn't work, you know what? We can always take it off. Put a regular uh, tip on it but anyway let's get going let's figure out what we need to do here right now you can see i've got a v-band welded to i believe it's just a 45 here and i got it turned down so that when i was running it it was just exiting it out of the truck however i set this up so that i can turn this obviously this has got to get out of the way but turned it now I can come up with something, figure out this other J-bend, see if I can come up over the axle and then get out the back. So let's do some figuring here and uh, we'll put you maybe on time lapse and see what we can do. So a little progress here. We got up over the axle. And then we're going to, let me get a light over here. Come out right there. I still have to uh, turn it around and come out the bedside here. So, but we're making progress. It's uh, slow but sure. A little bit tougher laying on the ground, but we work with what we got. Okay, so building the exhaust, I uh, realized I'm a, uh, I guess I'm about a foot or so short of three inch stainless. So, gonna take a little trip here, go to a fairly local guy, uh, Izzy Fab, and uh, pick up some tubing from him. He's got tons in stock, so gonna make a little trip here and go get some. I'll uh, drag you along here for the, for the trip. Well, let's go. All right, there it is. Like I said, I'm gonna do. I did a teardrop tip. Um, you can look that up online. It's just a 180 degree bend, all sliced up and then ground, how you see fit. 
Um, I did have it tilted down so it was parallel, but my buddy Jay suggested trying it so that it was parallel to this body line. And I must admit, looks way better this way. Um, give you a little view here. It sits like that. I like it. Just something subtle, but but different. Um, you can say I have full exhaust under there. The hanger, you can see, it's just it's under there. It's not bolted up yet. I got it held up by a C clamp. But if we climb under here, you can see full pipe goes up over the axle. Hold on, we'll slide under here a little further. Up over the axle, then up and hooks to that V-band. So that's all mocked up. Really happy with that. Lots of clearance everywhere. I got clearance around the shocks. Not gonna hit leaf springs. So we're gonna pull this thing out and uh, TIG weld it all up and finish this thing off. Let's get up on the bench. There it is, all welded up, ready to go back in. I just gotta put uh, the exhaust back in, drill two holes in the frame, bolt it up, and that's it for the exhaust. That's all I got for this one. Hope you liked it. A little bit of fab work, a little bit of uh, planning and figuring out on the exhaust, but we got it done. Anyways, like I say before, if you like it, Subscribe, share it with your friends. Till the next one. Cheers, everybody.